To complete our Bluetooth section of this course, we're going to create a iOS app. And in actual fact, we're going to create a Python script and use Pythonista to run it. Let's first take a look at the Pythonista side. So Pythonista you can download from the App Store. And this is the script. And because using the on-screen keyboard is a real pain, I've been using my Dropbox to load the file and I've been creating it on my desktop. So I'll turn off my Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth back on, then I'll run my script. Now it's ready and I can toggle the LED. And you can see it's actually sending a string just like we did with the Android version. So the code here is a little bit involved simply because we're doing three different things. We're using Bluetooth, we're using the user interface controls that Pythonista gives us, and we're sending messages to the Bluetooth device. So the first thing we need to do is import the relevant modules. So we've got CB, we've got UI, and we've got time because we're doing a time delay. We're just using the the uh, delay aspect of that. The way this works is we've got this core Bluetooth module which requires us to set up this delegate and then once we've done that we can scan for peripherals so we have to create this uh, uh, My Central Manager delegate and it's a class, so it's an object. It's not just a, a function, it's a set of functions and data. When it starts up, we set the variables peripheral, characteristic and button to nothing. And then we create a new view, which is our window if you like, but it's a, a phone app, so it's the screen. We give it a name and we set the background color to gray. And then we create a new button and we set the text on the button to loading. And then we give the button a name. We give it a border width. We set the background color. Huh. We set the text to black and we disable it so you can't press it until the device is connected. Then we center the button using the height and width of the view divided by half. And then we make sure that if you change the orientation of the screen, it doesn't mess up. So we make it flexible on the left, right, top and bottom. When it's clicked, we want it to do our button click function, which we'll see below. And then we add that button to the view and then we replace self dot button with whatever the view returns us just so we've got a connection to that so we can change its text in a second and then we we show that presentation we show that view and this is our button click function and essentially what it's doing is it's saying whatever you get whatever is the the sender whatever is clicked then set its title to sending send the string sleep for a tenth of a second and then put it back to toggle LED so it'll flash sending for a tenth of a second 
when it's doing certain things, these functions will be called. So if it's discovered a peripheral and the peripheral's name is HCO8, then we print to the console that it's been discovered and its name and we connect. And then if it connected, it'll call this and it'll look for the services. And then if it discovers the services, we're looking for one in particular called FFE0. And then it discovers the characteristics and that's the one we want to send the strings to. And if it finds FFE1, then it outputs found characteristic. And we set the self characteristic to C, so we're storing that value so we can use it again. We set the button to enabled so that we can actually press it. We set the button text to toggle LED so it's ready to go. And then here, just as a test, just to, to make a visual indication that it's working, I send the asterisk three times so it'll toggle the LED and actually show on my matrix. And this is the function to send the string and all it does is all of that that we collected is so that we can say the peripheral that we found, write the characteristic, if you remember that's where we send the string to, and the string to send. So that's a lot to go through, uh, but I will share this and hopefully you can have a play with it if you've got an iPhone and Pythonista and it'll work for you. Yes. <laughs>